Hopkinton Middle School and welcome to our first HMS TV today of 2017. I'm your host Michael Hyman and let's start with a middle school update with Mr. Keller. Good morning HMS. I hope you've all had a great start to the year. As you hopefully know, Monday is a holiday, specifically Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which occurs on the third Monday of January, marking Martin Luther King's birthday on January 15th. Dr. King, not to be confused with Martin Luther, please, was a Baptist minister, Nobel Peace Prize recipient, and a leader in the fight for civil rights through the use of nonviolent civil disobedience. On April 4, 1968, Dr. King was assassinated. In 1986, MLK Day was established as a federal holiday. However, it wasn't until 2000 that the day was celebrated in all 50 states. To honor Dr. King's life, many communities look to answer a question he once asked. He said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Here in Hopkinton, HMS hosts a day of service from 10 to 2 in our Brown Gym. In Boston, Tommy Bernardin will represent Hopkinton, joining grade 8 students from 350 Massachusetts towns for this service project. Tommy was nominated for Project 351 as someone who consistently demonstrates kindness, compassion, humility, and gratitude. On Monday, he'll be hosted by Governor Charlie Baker at Faneuil Hall and the John F. Kennedy Library and Museum for a day of team building, service, and celebration. I look forward to hearing from Tommy when he returns, and I look forward to hearing how you all have committed to service. I hope you make a, have a great three-day weekend, and now back to you, Michael. Thank you, Mr. Keller, and next we're going to spend a minute with a teacher. Today, we are going to visit Mrs. Abate. I wanted to become a teacher because I really love English and I love literature and I wanted a job that would give me a chance to read a lot and talk about books a lot. Um, plus, teaching is a meaningful job and so that feels good to do something that's meaningful. I teach eighth grade English and what I love about it is the students. I've learned how to dab, I've learned um, what a squig is, and I think most importantly, um, I've learned that if you wear too much axe, it's not good for anyone. I decided to teach in Hopkinton because the parents here and the kids here are really just nice people. The most memorable times in class um, are always when either a student can teach me something about a book that I've read a million times, if they can get me to look at it in a new way. That's always really exciting for me. And I think also whenever students make me laugh, that is my favorite. Most people know that I have a golden retriever and his name is Finn. Um, if I could add anything to the school, I would add an awesome sound system so that we could listen to music in the hallways and at lunch every day because I think that would be really cool. Very nice. Thank you, Mrs. Abate. To see more of our interview, watch this show online at our website. And now we are going to bring your, your favorite segment, Question of the Day. In my closet are tons and tons of shoes because I like to collect shoes. The monster that lives under my bed. Elves. Shoes. I have garbage in my closet. Some cardboard. I have boxes. I have money. I have sewing material. I have squigs. I have a hiding spot. Toys. Monsters. Cool. Keep watching for our cameras in the hallways. Now we will have Mr. Walkwood with Fun Fat Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Did you notice anything unusual about today's date? Yes, that's right. Today is Friday the 13th. And did you know that Triskaidekaphobia. Triskaidekaphobia is the immense and ongoing fear of the number 13. Well, on a happier note, today in history, on this day in history, in 1559, Queen Elizabeth I was crowned as the sovereign reigning queen of England. Make it a great day, be kind to one another, and enjoy your education. And that brings us to birthdays. We have a good number for you, so let's 
Go ahead and run them on the screen. Take it away. And for our last piece, we bring you, have you seen this? Check this picture and email us to where it is next Tuesday. And maybe we will pick your name and you might win a prize. And that's what we have today. Now get out there and study hard.